Good morning. I hope you're having a good day today. The last few Fridays, we've been speaking about the question of whether or not a man has to be baptized to be saved. We're going to carry on in that discussion. We're going to look in Acts chapter 2 today. In Acts chapter 2, at the conclusion of Peter's sermon, as you have all the apostles, but you have, you have Peter standing up and you have the sermon. At the conclusion of the sermon, it says in verse 37, when they, that would be the crowd, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. I want you to think about just how simple that is. And I want you to think about what Peter did not say. Peter did not tell those, Peter did not tell those people, Just believe and you'll be saved. He, he did not say that. He didn't say, Just believe and your sins will be forgiven. That's, that's not what he said. They already believed. So for Peter to still be speaking about the remission of sins shows that they had to do more than just believe. The verse says that they were cut to the heart. They already believed, but they had not received the remission of sins yet. Peter doesn't say, just believe and you'll be saved. He doesn't even say, just believe and repent and you'll receive the remission of sins. No, he says what he says. The Holy Spirit speaking through him says, Repent and be baptized for the remission of sins. Peter also does not, he doesn't tell them, just say the sinner's prayer and you'll be saved. You know, you hear folks say that all the time. Just say the sinner's prayer and you'll be saved. That's not what Peter says. He also, Peter does not say, okay, you need to be baptized to show that you've already been saved. He also doesn't say that. Again, he's, he talks about what they need to do for the remission of sins. They have not received the remission of sins yet. So they, have, they are not saved yet. He doesn't say be baptized to show that you have been saved. He doesn't say that baptism is an outward sign of an inward grace that's already happened. He doesn't say that. He does not say you're saved and now we're going to schedule your baptism at some point in the future. He doesn't say that either. He also, lastly, he does not say you're saved and now we're all going to vote on whether or not you can be baptized. He doesn't say that either. Now, I don't mean to insult anyone, but what I'm hoping to do with this exercise, I want you to, to see how what is happening in so many churches today is not what happened in the Bible. It's not what they taught in the Bible. It's not what they preached in the Bible. It's not the Bible. What, what we have to do is go by God's word and see what God's word actually says and use that as a standard. Peter says to them, repent, let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Their sins were not forgiven until they repented, until they were baptized, and that helps us answer the question. A lot of folks anymore, they say that you're actually saved and then you're baptized. Your sins are actually forgiven, then you're baptized. You receive the remission of sins and then you're baptized. That is not what Peter says here. That is not what the Bible says here. Read it for yourself. Acts 2, 37, 38. Hope you enjoyed this study today. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. Hope you have a good weekend. Thanks for studying with us.